Now, the next thing here is expressing in simplest form with a prime number base. So we know what a prime number is, it's a number that's only divisible by one in itself, and we know what a base is, it's the bottom number in an index. Okay, you know, with an index on top of it. So I've got the number 32 here, 32 is not a prime number. Um, what would the prime number base be? Now, if you remember back, um, we can uh, go to prime factors with this, remember that? Okay, so I could uh, go all the way down. Um, or I could, if I recognise it, I could know that's a power of 2. 2 squared is 4, 2 power of 3 is... So if you don't see that that's a power of 2, you might need to go back to the process um, of writing with prime, uh, property of its prime factors to get there. Okay, that's back. We did that a little while ago. All right, over here on the right, um, now, the rule is if the bases are the same, I can add those together, right? But the bases are not the same here. That's an 8 and that's a 2. Can I write 8 with a base of 2? Yes, I can, because... I know that 2 cubed is 8. So I can rewrite this as 2 cubed to the power of m times 2 to the power of m. Now I need to apply my index laws. If I've got a power inside and outside, I multiply them together. That's 2 to the power of 3m times 2 to the power of m. Now I can add those two powers together because the bases are the same. So it's equal to 2 to the power of 4m. 3m's plus another m is 4 ends. Last one here, um, okay, are they, are the bases prime numbers? They are, 17 is a prime number. And because the bases are the same, I can just go straight into subtracting this from that. So, even though it looks a bit weird because we've got a big, sort of like a thingy, a little expression there for the uh, index, we can still work with this. So this is going to be equal to 17 to the power of x plus 2, Okay, and I'm subtracting what's on the bottom. Subtract, I'm going to put in brackets, 3 minus x. The reason I put in brackets is we need to be really careful with powers, uh, not with powers, with signs here, negative and positive. This, I'm taking away not just the 3, I'm taking away the 3 take x. So the sign of both of those things is going to change. This negative out here, is a negative applied to the 3 and a negative applied to the negative x. And we know what two negatives make when you multiply them together. Let's see. 17, power of x plus 2, minus 3, straightforward. Negative, negative x is plus x. Right? So, my answer is 17, x plus x is 2x. And 2 take 3 is minus 1. And that's my final answer there. Okay? Check the examples in your book and ask for help if you need it.